fucking bullshit. So, I'm going to come down here now. Because, you know, we need more punishment. I'm going to quickly switch to Dragon Crest Shield. As you can see, 100% physical damage reduction and also reduces fire damage I take. Why not? And it looks pretty as well. Let's see if we can get a good look at this. Uh, yeah, you can see there. It's, uh, no, you can't. It's got a dragon on it. And things with dragons on it. Pretty cool. Okay, yeah, we are back down here again. Not because we need to go after that dragon. There's nothing really there for us anymore. Uh, let's have a look around. Yeah, there you go. There you go. An S stock. A rapier of sorts. It's got a good moveset. I don't particularly like using it. I'm not going to be using it, but it's nice for a mage sort of class. Right, so you kill that guy, pillage that corpse. Right, that is transient curse. Um, that allows you to hit ghosts. Why is it there? Well, this beautiful place is full of those aforementioned ghosts. Like I said, I shouldn't be here, but it's the beauty of Dark Souls, you can roam around. Now, those are ghosts, they are bad, they want to, um, they want to hurt me, they want to hurt me very badly, but we're not going to fuck around with them. We're going to go for this thing, grab it, and get the fuck out. Smash and grab, motherfuckers. That's how it's done. So... Oh, my heart was, uh, <laughs> I was beating rather hard there. Fuck. That's always, especially when they come out of the bridge like that, they don't usually do that. So oh, great. So, now we talk to her. We reinforce our Estus flask using the Firekeeper's soul. That now means that my flask is at a plus one for, for good now. That means it will give me more healing, and more healing is very good. Because at the start of the game, the healing is... It's pretty subpar, let's say. So, I'm going to put my armor back on now. No. Yeah, armor. <coughs> dragon shield. Um, things we picked up from that dragon um, is the main thing is this Astora shield. No, Astora straight sword. Uh, as you can see, this needs 14 faith to use, but once I do it, it will have. It's, the damage will scale off my faith. Which is good. I'm gonna. No, wrong. Shit. Sure. Uh, we're gonna stick with our little. I'm gonna use the S stock for our just so you can see what it looks like. Rather than the boring old sword. It's majestic as fuck. I think you would agree. Oh. Actually, let's see if I can level up and try and use my spear. Because I'd, I'd rather use the spear if I'm honest. It works better sort of thing. It just does, you'll see. Right. As you can see, that soul of a knight was worth about 2,000 souls. That's good cash. That's good. So, boom. There we go. Off the bat. Got enough soul levels to use this spear. Right. So, yeah. Important thing about this, when I'm guarding, I can attack from guard. Which... It's just really nice, like a little poke can just send an enemy off balance, just the, m the right amount. Oh, got a bit more souls. Always try and spend the souls, just in case the worst happens, which it usually, usually will. So we're going to put a bit into that. Uh, going to put into endurance, just a bit in for the green bar so we can have more equip burden more stamina as well so the bar doesn't empty as quick worth it right now if that yeah let's get into the game properly now so here we go Sit advancing up the hillside <coughs> as you can see also has like strong attack is quite a damage and lunge and then a little poke very good move set. Um, oh. uh, there are items down there. I'm going to deal with these guys first. 
Yeah, you'll be lucky, punk. One thing you'll notice is that I won't guard unless I really have to. Because, as you can see... Right, let's have a look. When you attack something and you're still blocking, endurance goes up slowly. Let's try that again. Remove guard and it goes up quick. And that's pretty life-saving in situations where you have to block a big fucking hit. Right. So I'll have a lost one dead. Okay, let's see if we can get the drop on this geezer. Oh. Probably end up falling off the cliff, but it's worth it. Nope. Oh, yeah. Mm. And he went with us as well. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he must be a fan of mine. Two deaths down. I'll probably lose count, but that's two so far. Um, if any of you want to count how many deaths I get, feel free to. It'll be a lot. So... Now I've died, everything that I've just killed has respawned. And now we have to go through the whole process again of killing everything. Right, so as before, run up here. Try and dodge him. Give him a poke. Oh, a bit cheeky. Give you a bit of a... Okay. I know I'm magnetic, guys, but you don't have to throw yourselves at me. There we go. This is a blood stain. Um, this will hold all of the souls and humanities of where I died five seconds, well, before I died. So you can always try and retrieve your souls. If I died before I'd got to those, that 500 or so souls, gone forever. Right, as you can see, not fucking about. That guy, the spear. It's, a be it's beautiful. Right. I'm not going to take any risks. I need to jump this properly. I can't do that when I'm weighed down. So I'm going to quickly make my way across here. And Ring of Sacrifice. Very important item. Um, uh, basically, when you die, the ring will break if you're wearing it. Um, and you will not lose any souls or humanity. Now this is useful if you feel you've got a lot of souls and you really don't, you've, you've run out of homeward bones, you've got no way of getting back to the bonfire and you really don't want to fuck about and risk that. But I'll show you when I'm going to be using that anyway. Think of it as an insurance. Right. So damp walls again. Lovely, a recurring theme in Dark Souls is dampness. So, that's cool. Also, Dark Souls later on, as you'll see, good luck, <laughs> says someone. Yeah, I'll need it. Um, Dark Souls is home to the most dampest, stanky ass sewers in any game I've ever seen. As you will find out. Okay, let's just keep going through here. Okay, don't really want to go through there yet. I know you've got a friend. Where is he? Let's take care of you first. Ah, there you are. Okay. Boom! Boom! Uh, what's this say? Some of these messages that other people leave behind, which is part of the online... Useful, some of them, some of highly, like most of them, not very useful. Right, another soul, it all adds up. What's down here? Nothing, okay. I uh, could have gone through that fog door, but there is a few more bits and pieces and souls I want to get before I head through there. Oh, not on my turf, sir. Uh, okay. Can't wait to have some more uh, endurance, just because this plodding, you f it should make me feel safe, but it really doesn't, because if you're slow, things will get you. <coughs> right, picked up some rubbish. You'll find out what that's for. Right, 
little bit of an ambush. Well, didn't really work. But then again, they are against the Gigabeard. Some call me the American Dream. Some call me the Tiger of Justice. Some people just call me Beard Face. Anyway, I go by many names. Uh, oh, he's having an, he's having a good time down there. Well, nope. Oh, it's a okay. And these get us to the first bonfire of this area before I head off. Let's go through here. Okay, carefully, carefully. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, that was one of those dragons from um, the intro, if you remember. Um, as I said, not breaking the mold. Dragons are dicks. That guy is certainly no fucking exception. A horrible, horrible beastie. That has claimed my life many times. Probably will also claim it on this playthrough as well. Dodged them bolts like a bows. Ow. Fuck. Well, okay. Go up here. Stab you. A chublo. Okay. We're going to go... Bonfire's in range, as you just saw. But we're just going to quickly give these guys a prick. Now, these are spearmen. They will keep their guard up. So you try and get round. Look at that. Down. Or try and coax them into attacking you so you can parry. Let's try Break the guard. Nope. Let's not try and risk that. There you go. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Now that was incandescent. Oh, glorious. I'm gonna head down here. Hello. Good boy. Oh yeah. Okay, pretty sure. Always got to be wary in Dark Souls. Never, just be careful. Okay, a load of mateys here. Ex Dark Souls players, I will start calling them. Uh, synchronized death. Wasn't that beautiful? Wasn't it? Right, going up this ladder, I'm not sure what's up here. It's probably something useful, and you know, I don't want to leave my f my fans wanting for anything. Throwing knives. <sighs> Jump. Okay. Safe landing. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure there was shit in here. Ah, weapon ahead. Uh, ah, here we are. Crossbow, standard bolts. It's not great, but then you can carry as much shit as you want in your inventory. The only thing that comes into slows you down is the equip burden. Oh, was that? Was that? Yeah. Soul of a lost undead. Right. Let's head up back up here. So as you can see, the spear is doing me very well. Pretty solid weapon. Usually what people do is they save the spear and upgrade it into a thunder spear later on. Which just does a lot of damage. And it's reliable because of its move set with the whole poking as you've seen from guard. Quick stabs. It's always going to be like that. And upgrading it only makes it better. So we're going to duck in here for now. Let's have a look. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's use up these souls. Ah, actually, while I've got time, I'm going to go pick me up another little weapon. Uh, I'm a bit of a weapons collector, I'll admit. I love collecting weapons because they're shiny. And this one is... Oh, it's very eastern. That's, okay. 
So this is uh, your first shop, so to speak, or one of them. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of things in Dark Souls have creepy, nasty little giggles like that. It's not great. Okay, let's have a look through these. Uh, as you can see there's bits and pieces here. It's okay. It's not great. Um, if I was gonna cut the tail off the dragon, I would save up enough souls here to buy a bow and some arrows, but I don't really need that weapon. So. Nice, right. So we're going to take him down. Yes, there we go. So, residence key, didn't have to pay for it, humanity, and an orange guidance soapstone. Not bad. And an Ugitana. Yep, a motherfucking katana. Because katanas are cool, yo. It's great. Uh, one thing of note, when you kill an NPC like that, he will not ever appear again during this playthrough. As you can see though, there wasn't a lot of stuff I needed off him. So, it's not a big loss, really. But killing other like NPCs later on, especially blacksmiths, a very, very, very fucking bad idea. Um... You kill those, you have no way of upgrading weapons, no real way of repairing them. It's not great. You just don't you just don't do it. Alright, so we're gonna sit here. Alright, rest of the bonfire. Let's see if we can get enough faith. Ah, oh, so close. As you can see, the required souls now for a level up is starting to ramp up. So yeah. I'm going to leave it there. I think that was a pretty informed explanation of what's going on. So, let's have a little prayer. There we go. Yes. Okay. See you again next time, guys. Sweet dreams.